That's why I meant. Right. We're just about oh. done with the modifications, but I have to stress that we cannot afford a test run. Okay, so it's all gold. Alrighty. We understand and accept the risks. We have faith in you and your craft. <laughs> so if it doesn't instantly explode My after man, she said I'm that. I'm sure everything will go to plan. With all the hard work everyone's put in, it couldn't be otherwise. There you go. Spirit. Nod. Nod, nod. Nod, nod. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> The developers know exactly what they're doing now, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nod. <laughs> you just called out my nod. I don't even know if you noticed. Oh, how would I notice? I nodded in real life, and as I did, you said nod. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect timing. Look at Shenzo, man. He's absolutely buzzing. Oh, yeah, Derek, sorry. Dude, look at that thing. The pinnacle of locomotive engineering, the Don Blazer. I really hope they don't have fire. <laughs> Amazing. Looks the very flammable to me. Way less annoying than yep. Jarek was. She's been fitted yeah. with wooden armor and a crystal grounding rod Look to mitigate that. the effects of lightning. Naturally, we had to overhaul the engine so it can handle the extra weight. Look at that. I'll just table no charge just uh, materials. Outfitted with the ferric oh. cannons, the better to contend with enemy forces. And as they're modeled upon those used at the Crystarium. I can attest to their potency. Of course the you can, Raha. Potency. So, what do you reckon? Given the tight turnaround, I'd say we did a damn good job. Here we go. Indeed. Hey, why are you asking us specifically? It's the toughest <laughs> locomotive I've ever seen. Of all the locomotives I've seen that have been converted. <laughs> Glad she's to your liking. I hate to let go of such a beautiful piece of machinery, but I know you'll give her a proper send off for us. Not At the risk of spoiling the mood, we should probably get moving. Yeah, those guys look yeah. menacing up there, man. You won't get far if you let them pummel you from the air, but you'll be safe enough once you reach the tunnel. Dungeon time, Zuffy. Must be, wasn't it? Yeah, gotta be, man. In that case, I will conceal the train with a spell once everyone is on board. Was he yelled, Raham and he's OP? Long enough for us to reach the tunnel unnoticed. You can invisible the full train? Dude, he's always been OP. Dog, man. Not remember when he levitated right. us all? So everyone, are we ready? In Endwalker? I guess. Saved us all from falling and stuff. Levitating a bunch of dudes though, but invisible in a goddamn locomotive. Mm, true. Mm. We've done all we can. Rest is up to you. I won't let you down. All right. Nod, nod. All aboard! All aboard the death train. We have to, we have to give it a name, man. You can't mount something like this and not name it. They already did give it a name. What I do they called it? The something buster, was it? I've forgotten. <laughs> Vanish. Oh, we didn't get to see it go invisible. Okay, well. Gosh, that is quick. We go, okay, off we go, man. Just absolutely full pelt. Hold on, there's nothing. At speed, we should arrive at the dome in no time at all. But not before we're spotted, I expect. Stay alert. <laughs> Dude, epic. All right, man. Everyone is there for moral support. Here we go. Here they come. No dungeon, huh? I kind of like this. Yeah, man. Oh my god. Action scene. Hey, hey. Look at these noobs, man. Look can't even go. can't even bring down a wooden train. Get out of here, man. You. I love the little Amy hole, man. Go, Crilly. Crilly just lob and paint at them. No, you don't. Do these guys in nothing? Alice Man Duke. Man, looks like they have. They switch to firearms. Looks like they have stormtrooper in. Oh, oh. Oh bloody hell, man! They're shooting down the goddamn crystals. A 
Oh, oh bloody hell. <laughs> oh my god, go! Action shot! Let's go! Yeah, I was gonna say, get it off. Yeah. Good job, Elise. Okay, we're gonna go even faster now, man. Oh my god. Oh, yo, yo, you man. Dude, this action sequence this action, action, man. This action sequence is excellent. This is pretty tight. Phew, that was guaranteed us. Looking after Alice in uh, Raha, man. Oh, bros. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Come on, just keep coming. Use your pee bubble. I need you to take over for me. <laughs> Everyone's like, Jesus. I'm actually scared. Wow, go, go. I'm actually scared when Erin Bill comes in. I'm just like, don't hurt my precious baby. <laughs> yeah. Look, he's... Look at him go, man. He's all right, yeah. Shoot Erin Bill. He's doing great, yeah. man. Dude, the cinematography on this is like actually good. <laughs> like genuinely, man. Like the direction on this, you know. Yeah, man. I'd rather watch this than play a dungeon, honestly. I mean, we're gonna get the dungeon just now, surely. But I thought it would be a moving dungeon again, you know. We gotta jump. It's fit to go. It's fit to boom. Oh my god, she killed him with a plank. Should Dead. Dived off the thing? All right, man, here comes the nuke. How big is the blast going to be? Wow. Okay, it's quite impressive. Are we actually inside no, of the dorm just now? Or is the, 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 no, no, this is the entrance to, to the dorm, right? This is the entrance, yes. Oh, that was too close. You did win. You did stick around to throw Hello, a stick at them. <laughs> Envil's just traumatized. Mostly. <laughs> He's shaking. Okay. Everyone Not. there? Looks like it, doesn't it? Many nods. We're just checking in on our little bros, man. What's the other female um, cross called again? I've forgotten her name. Ah, uh, begins with an N. <laughs> so let's do. I like her. At last, the enemy's now is the dungeon. Maybe we should hurry before they can regroup. Oh my god, this is so exciting! Look at it, man. Let's go and find out what's inside. Is our theory still just like this is a crazy like AI, like machine intelligence? Mm, one of our sh other shards. Okay. That's like All right, man. Cyborgs are out in force. Oh my god. Oh, we really made a dent in that day. Did, did we look at it? In the first line of defense. Boss time. Crazy motorbike, goddamn biker mics from uh, from Mars. Ah! <laughs> okay. It's actually I time to get the out of the way still. I'm we'll coming the divvies again. That was a little bit too close. The last minute there. And this one was alright. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, man. It wasn't too bad. No. Look at this. Oh my god, this place. And somehow I'm even more confused about this place now that we're actually here. Alright, here we go, man. Protector. Someone's gonna get focused and you're just gonna run. Ah! Oh my god! Ah! Ah! What is this, dude? Uh, it's impossible. Well, somehow we just didn't get hit by any of them, but it feels impossible. Okay, walls have been erected. Oh, he's gonna spinny spin. What uh, does that mean? Probably stand here. Oh, he's gonna move. He's moving. Ah, I'm just legging it. Maybe you're not allowed to run through those purple things, man. Yeah, you're not, obviously. It just annihilates you if you do. Okay, a motion-sensitive bomb has been affixed to me. It says to me as well, though. 
don't know what this means. I don't know what this means. That I'm going to die. Ah, I'm shielding myself. No. So what does it do? What is the bomb actually? You're not allowed to move. Do you have to I keep moving? I think when it counts down, I think when it counts down, you have to stay still. Oh, Christ on a bike. Get in the lines of it. I am here. Please. Easy. Okay, damn. This is cool, boss. I'm going to read what that debuff does as soon as we don't uh, out of here, man. Yeah. Here we go. The control room's over here. Ooh. I hope this uh, tank waits, because I'm not skipping this cutscene. It ain't happening. What the hell is that? Somebody with hair. That looked like a human. Or a oh. humanoid. It's just a serious breach should be allowed, but it ends now. What's a dude? It's a guy. Ophidian Outrider, Xander the Snake Skinner. He's got one of those things in his head. So how do we We redeem him? our honor with your lives. Jesus. Okay, let's do this, man. A little bit of red white action. What the hell he's dying so quickly? This isn't right. Something something is very wrong. Yeah, this guy is dying way too quickly. Dying, so yeah, he's dying way too fast, man. He's gonna be revived as a goddamn T one thousand. Well, he's dead, Sophie. Da, 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 da. Dungeon Sophie. Gah. Gone. Now big Dr. X is going to appear on the screen. Hmm. Oh, what the? There you go. He's right. Oh, I told ah, you okay. he's going to yeah, 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 yeah. We need to kill the actual thing on his head, I think. Yeah, we have to stamp on his head repeatedly, man. What the? What? What? What is going on now, dude? Okay. He like transformed like an Asian. Yeah. Pushing over toward right. him. What uh, does that even mean? <gasps> okay, that's new. Okay. Oh, what, what the? the? What the? What the hell? Help! Quick! 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 Thanks. Did you get it? Yeah. I, yeah, I didn't see that. Did you? Ah. Uh. I still don't even know how it happened. I don't get it, dude. What the? F I'm sure it's very obvious in the replay, actually, when we watch this back, but I have no idea how we were supposed to know that those attacks were coming. Okay, God, here we go again. How do we? I don't understand. Is it just because the skill's called rear guard? Or four guard or rear guard? Okay, yeah, you just have to read the name of the skill. Then it's very yeah. obvious, actually. Is this and this is another rear guard, yeah. 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 Got him, dude. Zero deaths. Perfect run. Okay, now quick, people's elbow, dude. Make sure he doesn't get back up. What greeted us was not the home that I had left behind. Yeah, what what's happened under the dome, man? Oh my God! There was no mistaking we had reached the Yasulani, and yet it was wholly unlike my memories. The lands of my childhood had changed beyond imagining. What the hell, man? That was quick, wasn't it? Look at those pylons slamming down, man. To yeah. where had I returned? What? We tread on. The darkened skies above a mirror to my heart. Clouded with fear and uncertainty. How bizarre. This cannot be Yasulani, can it? It's like it's being possessed in real time. Electoral heritage found. It doesn't make sense. That tower? Was it always there? Come on now, Alizé. I mean, which tower? Will it go? She's talking about the giant She's purple about one. The gi giant purple one. No, definitely not. Not the wall over there. Such a massive structure couldn't possibly have been built in such a short time. Then I'm inclined to assume we've been transported to another location. Or perhaps... Well, speculation will avail us naught. We need to learn more before we can draw conclusions. It's almost like a pocket dimension, maybe, into like mm. another sh uh, reflection or shard. Let's take a look around then. Hmm. I'm pretty sure this is Yasulani Station. But from the state of it, I'd swear it was abandoned years ago. Yeah, because the wood looks all rotten and stuff as it well, does. man. It does, yeah. I'm not sure what to make of this. We should look around a bit more. This is bizarre as hell, it's actually. It's very yeah. bizarre. Like yeah. the fact that like the architecture is aged. I have no doubt we're in Yasulani. 
But I don't understand why these buildings are so run down. They were completed barely a year ago. If I didn't <gasps> know better, I'd say time flows differently here. Oh my god, I was right. <laughs> but if this is Yasalani, then we should still be in the source. The flow of time should be synchronized. I'm not sure I follow all this talk of reflections and dimensions. But if Erinville says this is Yasalani, then it must be. Yeah, but another reflection's bleeding through. Your village is a little further along, right? Does he even want to see it, man? Erinville! <laughs> what? I, uh, uh. uh. Yes, it's a short distance to the northwest. Walls. Let's head there next, then. Rather than talk theory, it's always better to confirm the things firsthand. Not Synchronized, not this time. Thank goodness. Oh, <gasps> uh, yeah. May I be of assistance? Uh, it's still functioning. My god. You got eyes on it? It doesn't seem to be hostile, at least. Perhaps we can ask it some questions. Can you tell us where we are? <laughs> Unable to confirm credentials. Please present citizen identification. Seems it is broken after all. So strange by half. Let's leave it be and get going. This material appears to be the same used in the mechanical soldiers and warships. In closer inspection, it appears to be fine etchings. Oh, seem it appears to bear fine etchings. Rather reminiscent of arcane runes, these. I suspect they're not merely decorative. I would posit it's used to harness lightning as a source of energy. Quite impressive technology. I'll share this observation with Yishtola. For a blessing, the dome doesn't appear to interfere with Link Pals. Really? Thanks for accompanying me. Let's head to the village and find the others. What's just call it? We're, we're gonna totally call off Yishtola and the Link Pal. Yishtola? Yishtola, why is she picking up, man? She's gonna pick up. Hello? It'll be like an old woman. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be an old woman. It's like, yes, don't we need you for blah, blah, blah. It's like, don't you realize it's been 184 years? <laughs> You're like, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> no, don't do that. That would be so sad. Okay. <laughs> Everyone three, two, we know one. is dead. Okay, three, click. Three, two, one click. What in the world? It's been about 10 years have passed since we came in here. That's more than that. What if time's still massively accelerating, though? Like, why is nobody asking that question, you know? No, it's synchronized now. That's what thing he said anyway, by the looks Maybe. of it. Also, just glitched your head. on the sauce, you know? Glitched your head to come into uh, synchronicity with the reflection that's currently... My home. ...right in the dome. What? It's in ruins. But why? W what happened here? Don't forget as well, there was two earthquakes. Not just the one we felt. Hmm. And where is everyone? <clears throat> We'll find him, Erinville. We'll find him. I had a look in a few of the other houses, but they had clearly been abandoned. Damn it all. None of this makes sense. Excuse me. Are you <gasps> looking for someone? Oh, it's the lady. Uh, Who are you? Uh, mysterious woman that we saw in Tulialal? Yes, she appeared there, but she's also undercover. She looks way too clean and pristine for this area. Oh my god, look at her dress though. Oh my goodness. The necklace. <laughs> I apologize for giving you a fright. However, I did have reason to keep to the shadows. Why? You're exactly wearing camel gear. How the hell did we not spot her? has told me a great deal about you. <clears throat> mm -mm. Oh god. Sorodja? Greetings, and welcome to the realm of Alexandria. What are the reflections? I am Sphine, the Queen of Reason. Is she real, though? This is music. Queen of Reason? So reminiscent of Final Fantasy IX. Reason, is there perhaps it's FF9! It is the fanfare kind yes, of... Yeah. if you mean to ask if there is a King of Resolve... Zorulja holds that title, and together do we reign. I think. What? What in the hell? Then you're both behind the attack on Tulishola. 
Yeah, but she's also the the reason one. Uh, I think you can calm down a bit. You're here to offer us a warm reception. She might actually be sensible. No, you have it all wrong. I am not come to fight. The rule jar rules alongside me, but that is a matter of expedience. In truth, we are at odds, he and I. It is at considerable risk to myself and my people that I come before you to beg your aid. She came down with no bodyguards or anything, man. She's like super OP, maybe. Our aid. I'll admit, I cannot imagine King Zororja is keen to share and share alike. But if what you say is true, you're still Sorry. the queen. Indeed. But I was once the sole ruler of Alexandria. Until one day, he appeared bent on conquest. In my weakness, I feared his power. So I persuaded him to forego violence and strike a bargain. I would remain queen, and he would receive technology that would empower him to achieve even loftier ambitions, <coughs> along with the knowledge to use it. A gamble, to be sure, but if it might spare my people... If I may, the dome surrounding these lands was erected but recently. How is it he was able to not only invade, but instate a new system of leadership in a mere matter of days? Because it doesn't sound like it's been days for him, yeah. I assume. It's been like a decade, hasn't it? Mm. Or more. <clears throat> I've never heard of your realm. And this place is, or at least was, Yasulani. The house I grew up in is still here. But three years ago, that tower and these strange contrivances weren't. Nor was our village in ruins. Where did you come from? And what happened to the people who lived here? You must know. Get a tool there, Will. How well is the with the eye design, by the way? This all must be. Truth be told, I don't fully understand it myself. Oh, great. How are we going to understand what it? What I can say is oh. that one day, people from your Tuliolo suddenly appeared here in Alexandria. Or perhaps it was we who found ourselves in Tuliolo. Until but recently, we were completely unaware of events taking place beyond the barrier surrounding our realm. Does this not remind you of the Crystal Tower? Yeah. How, after mm. the Eighth Umbral Calamity, we devised a means to transport the Spire across time and space from the Source unto the First. Granted, this is on a much larger scale, if that is indeed what has happened. Not only the people and structures, but also the surrounding environment. Regardless, the people of Lakeland perceived the arrival of the Crystal Tower much as the Queen describes her own experience. Sudden and inexplicable. Well then, you appear to have a better grasp of our circumstances than we do. <laughs> Indeed, more than I dared hope. God, I mean, what do we... <laughs> In which case, a closer examination of the effects of this phenomenon may afford us more insights. Allow me to take you to the outskirts. Look at a fringe, by the way. A number of the Shatona live there as well. What about Perhaps it? your acquaintances are among them. Symbology. It's like two circles crossing over. <laughs> Hold on. If we accept, there's no guarantee we're not walking into a trap. But if we're to defeat Zorolja, we need to understand how he grew so strong. Besides... Uh, 
Ah, oh, you're right. Et Ewinville. Queen Sphine, before we go, your Majesty, Sphine. I have to ask, did you really have nothing to do with the attack on Tulichiolol? Noble Wook Lamart, shall we dispense with the formalities? I'll not deny the soldiers and airships that attacked your people are products of Alexandria. But it was Zeralja, not we, who fashioned them into weapons of war and laid siege to Tuliolo. So he alone is to blame. No, I may not have prosecuted this war, but I nevertheless bear responsibility for it. Kogu's a ten in my head right now as to <laughs> D.B. Greffin. Perhaps. I know next to nothing about you, let alone what you've been through. So by all means, show us around. I think we'll learn a lot from meeting your people. <gasps> Wonderful. If you would follow me. Yeah, man. So Alexandria is definitely the, n the name of the castle. Uh, Alexandria Castle in Final Fantasy IX. We just had the fanfare as well, man. Or like the parade I was music. Say, just be reminded, I've played through like 40 minutes of nine, so I won't yeah. have a clue. I know the characters, and I did recognize the fanfare. I trust you have similar farming facilities in Tural. Um, uh, they're completely different from ours. I've got no idea what those machines do. Well, they look like sprinklers. Mm. We settled on the approach after some trial and error. The Turali have their own methods of farming, which they wanted to continue employing. But the envir environment makes it challenging. There is too much rain and not enough light. That's like the UK. Okay. Uh, <laughs> thankfully, the use of electro electro yeah, has electro. allowed us to fortify the buildings here, as well as provide what nature cannot. Electro, what? I'm more interested that she said the Turali, as in they've just like seamlessly absorbed the people who once lived here into their culture, you know? Hmm. Electrop. It's a material we use for myriad devices and applications. A topic for another time, perhaps. If you would follow me, we're nearly at the outskirts. The hell is going We no. mustn't forget as well that when um, they were attacking uh, Tuli Alal, they were also taking something from the bodies. Whatever that may be. They oh, yeah. Taking two things from the bodies. <clears throat> one might be their ether and one might be something else. I don't know. Zaduria, man. Looks to rally, Click. maybe. Clicking. The lambs seem to be about the correct brightness. Now to check the crops to see if any further adjustments are needed. He also has one of those things on the side of his head. Yeah, it, it, it's like assimilated together. It really has. Yeah. Because uh, these are from Tural, but they're speaking like they're not. Yeah, it's been uh, like it's been way longer than like a decade. Our estimations way off. It's been like a hundred years, maybe two hundred odd years. Yeah, it's, it's way longer than a decade. Yeah. Here we are. Oh. Though you'll doubtless find much of what you see in Alexandria strange, the traditional agriculture practiced in this village at least should be familiar. The queen has come! <laughs> okay, well, she's popular among the people. Yeah, they seem to like her. You look well, Paquine. And Katonye, I see you've already taken to your new position. When she introduced herself as queen, I was expecting someone colder. Honestly, she reminds me of you, Lamachi. How? Me. It's nice and amicable, you know. It's only natural with the people, for a ruler maybe. To love her people. Mm. And I should like to know them as best I can, even the most trifling details. The more you come to know them, the more you grow to love them. Who they are and what they've built. That's it. Beautifully put. She stole our Turali people. <laughs> Brainwashed. <laughs> you honor us with your presence. And who are these fine people? They don't even have headpieces. Vow of resolve, but now that is she. Companions. They come from beyond the barrier, but you needn't worry. They are good people, 
and are to be treated as my honored guests. Then, Ruklamat is still so young. What the? Oh, where are my manners? I am still Popone, so young. A leader of sorts of the people living out here. Reminds me of what Zoralja said when he was fighting uh, Popone. Galu. And he said that he wants to kill him again, right, you, you know. I take it you hail from this region as well? Teshpiani, perhaps? Mm. Or something to that yes, effect, he said. I do. I don't Kakua. Woman by That's the name finally Kakiwa. we know how to say that now. Kakua. <laughs> You're a little bit ahead. Kakua. Kakua. Hmm. I'm afraid I'm not sure if I've ever met someone with that name. Yeah, it's been like 200 years, man. Mother isn't here. But it's a relief to know at least some of the people of Yasulani are alive and well. Your mother, you say? Can't be. Ooh. Now that you mention it, I do see the resemblance. You know my mother? I do. Yes. Just based on the look? Then tell me, please. I do not Where did. I cannot say. Not here, but I promise I will in due time. I have a question, Pepone. Do you recall what happened the day the dome first appeared? I remember fixing a shelf that had collapsed after a terrible earthquake. Then the ground began to tremble. There was a brilliant flash of light. And then... <clears throat> it hasn't been 200 years Forgive then. me, my mm. recollection of it all is rather poor. You needn't push yourself, Pepone. After 30 years, yeah, no yeah. one could blame you for not remembering. I was going to say, I, I was going to yeah. say maybe like 50 years at a push, mm. like at the most. I was then. guessing 50. Years. Yeah. As in 30 years in the past? Absurd though it may sound, there is no doubt in my mind the events that led to the joining of our lands occurred 30 years ago. Nod. Which is not to say I understand why our perceptions of the intervening time are so radically different. We only just became aware of the discrepancy when Zoraljar's military base was completed and we were at last able to venture beyond the barrier. I believed you long dead. Mm. To have the chance mm -hmm. to kill you myself is an unforeseen blessing. That's what I was talking about, man. As soon as you said that, I was so confused, man, but I just sort of put it at the back of my mind, you know? Mm. So from the time he was in the Golden City to when we saw him, it'd been no wonder, 30 years for Azaralja. Yeah. Our father had already passed away. It's not unlike how time passes differently in the first and the source. The fluctuating space of the rift between them disrupting temporal equivalence. Flawed? Who's said it's still flowing faster, man? You suppose yeah, time is still man. passing faster yeah. in here? Yeah. I want to know this, yeah, go. Sorry, Three, two, one count. click. Oh, Jesus. Who's to say it ain't? Call your stroller right now. I was able to make contact with Yostola not long ago by Link. Oh, he's already done it. Oh. Okay. Shouldn't be right. for okay. concern. She didn't sound old. <laughs> so it just glitched ahead? Based on the Queen's account, this encampment may have come to serve as a physical bridge between the two planes, after which the dome was forced into the source's temporal flow. Sveen, would it be all right if we had a look around and spoke with the townspeople? By all means. <laughs> I'd like to point out as well that when um, Erinville asked about his mother, uh, she kind of looked to the side and said that she couldn't explain it as one of those soldiers walked past. Ah, it was a soldier so, that she was side-eyeing. I don't know if she was side-eyeing the soldier, but there was a soldier that walked past. Yeah, that's not I would have thought it was in the background, whatever, it was walked past, but then when the camera switched to Wuklamat, I mean Erinville, it continued to walk past as well. So it was effort to put that in there, if you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Electrop has done much to, uh, to improve the efficiency of the farming, but hasn't replaced everything. The people wanted to preserve their old way of life, and we did not want to force ours upon that. You went to such lengths so that our cultures could coexist, even going as far as to learn our tongue. 
I'm sure everyone appreciated that. Communication was thankfully not an issue. So the Tarali tongue is surprisingly silly, similar to Alexandrian. Kind of like on the first, you know, they all speak, <laughs> they all speak mm. in English. Mm. Well, what are your impressions of the farm? But I'm electro technology. It is the future. So it was the electro that caught your eye. It's only natural. I suppose you come from a place without it. And what did you think of our little, uh, of our little two Alamati? Oh, she's been calling Alamati. Oh, what did you call me? Was that inappropriate? My apologies. I heard the others call you that by name, and I thought... <laughs> no, no, it's fine. As you said before, we've no need for titles and formalities. Little Wookiee, I call him it. Anyway, thanks for letting us to the farm. The folk here are delightful, and it was a pleasure to meet them. You couldn't have favoured us with more uplifting words. My people are my pride and joy. And you never fail to let us know. Know how much you care. Of course. You're my precious family. All of you. Now, I believe that we are done with the farm. Let's move on, shall we? What's happening? Something bad's going down, man. What's happening over there? Nearly time for what? It's nearly time. Hope they're not, like, committing, like, human sacrifice and stuff. I'm glad you could make I'm it you on could that. Make it. Let's get... What is happening, man? Queen Sphine has come to see you. Is that Namika? What well, might be? <gasps> the bracelet. Here, Namika. It's Namika. Yeah. It's going to be all right. Oh. oh. <laughs> What's the matter, dear? Oh my God. It can't be. Oh, but it is. That's the bangle mm -hmm. I gave to Namika. You know her? Of course I know her. She was like a mother to me. I see. She was always willing to lend a kindly ear to others, but rarely did she ever speak of herself. Is it... Is it really you? Men. She must have arrived shortly before the barrier manifested. For us, it was perhaps days, but for her... She was already quite old. To be fair. The fact that we missed that first train. Yeah. Changed everything. Mm. I'm afraid her time with us is nearly at an end. She this is coming for Erinville as well, cells? isn't it? No more soul she cells. She always used her sparing week, but at her age, it wouldn't make a difference. Who? Who be this? The ushers have arrived. Thank you, Namika, for your many years of friendship. Take comfort in the knowledge that this is not the end. Be not afraid. Your memory will live on in us. Living on in memory. The giants share a similar belief. <clears throat> Wait, where are you taking her? Worry not. She is being escorted to a medical facility in the tower. There we will ease her burden. 
I had hoped to make arrangements for her sooner, but she wished to remain here for as long as possible. I could not bring myself to refuse her. Wish she maybe keep in faith that Wookiee Map would show up. Yeah, well, she almost said her name there as well. Hmm. Is there any way I might stay with her for a little while longer? We may not share the same blood, but she was my mother. Please. Let us give them some time alone. That means me too. Oh, but then again, how would we see? <laughs> no, no, we're off. <laughs> Thank goodness. She didn't speak, but I'm grateful that I could be with her at the end. Thank you. It's not the end. Huh? <laughs> oh, nothing. I was just thinking that we have much to discuss. Where shall we begin? With what we can be reasonably certain of, perhaps. With consent, they mean something different by that. Between what we, what we are thinking with the giants. And the testimony of Alexandria's inhabitants. It's safe to say that two distinct lands have indeed become one. What's more, having met Namika, there is no denying the divergence in the passage of time. Taken together, these phenomena strongly suggest that some manner of cross-rift displacement has occurred. Yeah, like, how did that happen? Like, how did Alexandria get... The most likely explanation. In essence, we are dealing with a localized instance of dimensional compression. The Asians would no doubt liken it to a rejoining. How was such a feat accomplished? And did any Asians come by your reflection by any chance? I wish that I had an answer for you, but... This talk of reflections and dimensions is well beyond my understanding. If I may clarify, the barrier predates Alexandria's displacement. By several hundred years, yes. To when the continent we call home was ravaged by a devastating cataclysm. The barrier was erected oh. to isolate us from the surrounding land's innocuous influence. I see. And it was only later that it was whisked away, along with its contents, by means unknown. In other words, Sphine's as lost as the rest of us, right? The Alexandrians didn't mean to end up in Tural. Oh. Ah, but of course, our next stop ought to be Everkeep. That tower over yonder. Once you have been registered as my guests, you will have access to Solution 9 and its residential district, Here we go. where you will doubtless gain invaluable insight into Alexandria's state of affairs. I just want to hear the music in Solution um, 9, man. Fortunately, mm -hmm. I cannot take you directly to where Zoraljar resides. That you'd let us in it all goes a long way toward proving you're not content to let Zeralja do as he pleases. Now, I am off to register you at Everkeep. Yep, so it she knows. Take some time, but you shall find the entrance open to you in due course. Dude, she's got the most royalist, like, political oh, way. And ere I forget, speaking. your mother, Kafkiwa, you might try the Thunder Yards to the east. <gasps> Whoa. The Thunder Yards? Is that where she is? I am afraid I can say no more than that. Make for the Thunder Yards, and all will be made clear. See, I'm deeply concerned, man. This whole, oh, it's not the end for Namika, you know? Hmm. What does that mean, man? What's he downloading? It's not as if we have other pressing business. Not until we can get into this Everkeep, anyway. I'm so suspicious. 
for earlier. No, no, me too. And for being a friend to Namika these past 30 years. It means a lot to me. Oh. Namika? <gasps> I'm sorry, but I don't know who you mean. Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. So she was being deleted from his memory banks just there. Yep. She was just put out or whatever. We were just with her. If this is some sort of a joke, it isn't funny. And that's why the workers are also happy, by the way. They think they're interested in I Utopia. Don't to give offense, mm -hmm. but I honestly have no idea who you are talking about. I'm sorry. Oh, God. How can you not know who she is? You're in charge here. She was under your care. Then in all likelihood, my memories of her have been stored in the cloud. Well, she did say the welfare of her people comes above everything. Mm -hmm. So anytime they're yeah, about to experience pain or grief. Without reason is probably there in the cloud. Oh, I really must be getting back to work. If you'll excuse me. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, they just so any like, sort of inkling of pain is removed from them. Potentially, yeah. They just make them forget, you know. Maybe, I don't know. But then Namika still remembered Wukla Matt, but she didn't have a little headpiece on, did she? Oh, I didn't see, actually. I don't think she did. Ooh. What's going on? As if he never knew her. Could be the same thing, uh, could the same thing have happened to the others as well, I wonder. Oh. So it was the same for everyone. It's gone. Not a single person remembers Namika. It's as if the memory of her has been purged from their minds. While such a thing might be done with magic, to alter the memories of so many at once would be tremendous. We would have to have felt, we would have felt a surge of ether corresponding to the act too. And I sense none of that at the moment. Right before Pepone seemingly forgot, the light device in his head began to blink. Could there be a connection? Someone also said something about soul cells. If we can't readily solve the mystery about, Man about Namika, perhaps we could search for Kakua instead? Sven said to try the Thunder Yards. Should be in this direction. See, I'm worried. What if, what if, what if his mother doesn't remember things? Or doesn't remember him? Or who the hell knows, you know? What is going on over there? Did you see that? Look like a little TV. Yeah. Little surveillance bot. <gasps> Impossible. The little robots said that. Hmm. Another kind of mechanical soldier. It looked dangerous. We better destroy it. <laughs> I don't know about that. Look, it looked pretty. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Doesn't look that dangerous. No, it doesn't. Erinville? Are you alright? You look like you've seen a ghost. What, what's the significance of this? It's nothing. I'm fine. Does he know that thing? Does he recognize it? Well, it went off in the direction we're headed anyway, so let's try and track it down. Erinville? Oh, the voice. The voice. He recognized the voice. His mom has become a sphere to continue her consciousness because she was on the brink of death or something. Mm. <gasps> Instead of what? dying when they go up to the cloud, is their consciousness uploaded into a little machine so that they live forever? I guess oh so. Oh my god, that could be it, man. That could be it. Oh, we're just completely going off on a crazy conspiracy theory. There it is. It's going in the cave. You found it. Come on, then. If this little robot has an Icelandic accent, <laughs> it's where to go, man. Oh. Okay, there it is. Right there, mate. Oh, a few minutes. No, oh, yeah, see now. What the? No. Oh, what are people doing? Oh, these are the little rebels, aren't they? These are little rebels against the mm. Utopia, man. Uh. 
shocked. It really is you. Oh my god, it actually is in it. Oh my god, dude. Oh yeah, these guys don't know Aaron Bill's real name. Yeah. She sounds yeah. American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your little bun bun? <laughs> yeah, three, two, one, click. <laughs> Why the long face? He's just like. Are you happy to see me after all this time? So confused. Yeah. I know that laugh anywhere. Mother? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Since when was your mother a weird floating thing? <laughs> Good question, Wuklemet. <laughs> and what have we here? Say, aren't you Galoo Jaja's kid? I knew I recognized that adorable fuzzy face. <laughs> Ella Nespier was always so excited whenever you invited him over to play. You remember me, I hope. What the hell, man? I can't say that I do. <laughs> but you know my father? <laughs> but does the mo does his mother know that she's a robot now? She don't make don't it know. not too good job of explaining it. Standing, it would seem this is my mother, Kafkiwa. I'm sorry? All I ask is a little forewarning, but no. <laughs> what is going on? What, what the hell is happening? <sighs> yes, Wookie, with the same. <laughs> Just when I thought I was starting to get a handle on this place, how are things still getting stranger? Yep, that's a valid question. <laughs> I love okay, my character's man. face. Like, I, if I concentrate really hard, maybe I'll figure out what's going on here. Okay. Mm, she made this coffee. There's uh, some nice cuppers here. Oh, no. Sorry. It's so wonderful to meet you all. I put chocolate in my mouth thinking it was going to be voiced. Uh. And the students of Baldessian. It's been a while since I had that name. Dare I ask the reason for your appearance? Oh, this? It's just a body that I control remotely. I use this for our operations. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so she's still physically around somewhere. She still has a physical being. But the very yeah. long-lived and the Viera saw. We're members of the Resistance Organization, Oblivion, we call ourselves. And our goal is to thwart Sir Aljar's ambitions for conquest. Nice. Okay, cool, cool. As the leader, it's prudent that I remain where I can be easily found. Where I can't be easily found. No, can't be easily found. Truth be told, Oblivion was founded for an altogether different purpose. As I expect you've already noticed, everything you see within this dorm, the buildings, the people, the very earth beneath our feet, is a fusion of two worlds. Yeah, the source and whatever your world is. All what that the world reflections, world that yeah. is. Stopping such a fusion was Oblivion's original mission. Nod. Then does that mean you know who or what is responsible for it? I'm afraid not. This was a long time ago, and our mission statement has become more of legend that it's that's passed down to members. By the time we joined, our sole objective was stopping Zoralja. 
but we failed to do that, and now he's taken his army outside the dome. None of you wear those strange devices on your heads. Does that have something to do with your work? Oh yeah, none of them do. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean by the rebels then. There's one of them. Mm. <clears throat> you mean this? It's a regulator, the pinnacle of electro technology. And that we don't wear it indeed related to, uh, relates to our operations. What exactly does it do? Regulators have two primary functions. The first, as the name suggests, is the regulation of the wearer's reserve of souls. Should they die, the regulator expends a soul to bring them back to life. Reserve? You mean people walking around carrying spare souls? <gasps> That's where we get them! They harvest them, okay. They harvest them. They do. Souls are packaged in cells, and they can be used to replenish the life force that is lost due to sudden death, such as uh, in accidents. They do nothing for those who die of old age, though. Yeah, I guess if the vessel is failing to that extent. Hmm. Distribution of soul cells is based on one's work evaluation to encourage exemplary performance when fulfilling their duties. God, it's not quite the utopia that it seems this, is it? It's quite dystopian. Souls is a common resource and payment for services render it rendered. That's why everyone seems so happy when they work, man. They have to be, mm. you know. The voids and practice of consuming others for ether comes to mind. And similarly, I expect that the act comes with some risk. Wouldn't the consciousness of others corrupt your own? And is prevented through memory management, a process which regulators also play a role in. Uh, memory management? Then the reason everyone has forgotten Namika's presence? Hmm. The regulators are constantly recording the memories of their wearer, so if they should suddenly die, the memories can be refreshed as part of the restoration process. However, the regulators are also triggered when someone else dies. Hmm. Reasoning being is that regulators forcibly extract memories relating to the deceased from anyone wearing one. Jesus, so they, it does happen then? Yep. Why would they do such a thing? Why would they do such a thing? Sorry, I didn't realize Stop. it was it. It's a kindness bestowed upon us by the people of Everkeep's core system, so that no one has to suffer the pain of loss. So it's literally so what we saw. The Everkeep, Alexandria, I'm assuming. Oh, God, man. So, this is what's meant by their memories being in the cloud. Sveen, though, man. Indeed, all memories of the deceased are wiped from the minds of people and archived in the system. Sveen's part of this, man. Like, kindness overload, you know? Hmm. Well, it's a frightening function of the regulators and an integral step in soul cell production. Or is it kindness at that, that point, man? Like, imagine if all of that hurt and stuff comes back at once, by the way. That is yeah. removed from you. All that hurt and grief. You see, when a person dies of natural causes, their soul is temporarily housed within the regulator. God, I don't know what to make of Sveen anymore now, because of this, though, you know? Hmm. It's so then delivered to a facility where memories are separated from the soul. Because even if this has good intentions, it's... Okay, so that's what we saw then. There was a yellow ball as well. Hmm. So that's the soul. Using this demonstration. And, and then the yellow is the memories, maybe? The result is a fresh soul cell, free of impurities, ready for distribution and consumption. Consumption. Well, not for these rebels, innit? They probably see the darker side of it. Because you got to take it from someone else, you know? But it said when they die of natural causes. Mm. I mean, he's just buzzing. Meanwhile, the memories are stored in the core system, to be remembered forever. Mm. And this is why the people are so happy here. On its surface, it's similar to the Yokui philosophy, but I see nothing noble or comforting in it. I wonder how this would actually work in practice, man. 
Well, it doesn't seem so terrible to me personally. All comes down to what you're used to, I suppose. I don't know, man. Don't the lows make the highs high? Like the barrier encasing Alexandria, the system was created to overcome the calamity that transformed the world hundreds of years ago. Also, they had a calamity over there, too. That answers that, then. Amidst the mounting death toll, scientists used Electrope to devise a means to save what lives they could so that the nation could endure. Uh, she already mentioned this earlier. Yeah, I just briefly forgot. Yeah, I remember now. I understand the people of Alexandria did what they believed was best to save their people, and just I just find it hard to believe Tural would also accept this way of living. The Turali would also accept this way. Hmm. It came as a shock to us as well. In fact, a great many were opposed to it. Which is why the use of regulators was never compulsory. People have always been free to go without them if they wish. Hmm. Okay, so it wasn't forced on them. Hmm. Sveen didn't strike me as the sort of ruler to impose her will on others. Okay, so that's like... Hmm. Ah, so you've already met. That's like one point back in favor of Spain, I guess. Oh, she's the one who suggested we come to uh, the Thunder Yards in the first place. She also said she wants to help us stop Zoralja. Awfully kind of her to point you in my huh. direction, and to speak so candidly as well. And that's why Sveen didn't speak of his mother in front of the guards. Yeah, also true. Whatever our motives, she's, she's given the people a choice. Live with the risk of true death, or the security of the regulators. Okay. I'm yo-yoing between trusting Sveen or not right now, but okay. Uh, everything that lives must someday die. That is the natural order of things. Leaning towards trust currently. Quite right, but however you feel about them, it would be easier to understand what the regulators are capable of if you saw it for yourself. I mean, I think we already have with, uh... What's his face, Zoralja? When he fought uh, Galul? I know just the person to show you, and as luck would have it, they should be starting work right about now. Come with me and you'll find out. Apologies for the interruption, but I was hoping they might observe you at work. Hunting, you mean? That's fine, I guess. I assumed they were wearing special regulators like Queen's, uh, like Queen Sveen's crown, but they aren't wearing anything at all. Ah, so Sveen has one. Okay. Okay, I can assure you they're all quite capable of looking after themselves. If anything goes amiss, I will take full responsibility. Wouldn't it be easier for those mechanical soldiers to guard this place? It would, if not for the fact that they're weak to lightning. The Thunder Yard being what it is, they've been ordered to steer clear. But these facilities are vital to keep the upkeeping of Alexandria's infrastructure, so it falls to hunters like me to deal with the fiends. <laughs> Given the danger, we are well compensated for our work, and it's a perfect profession for anyone looking to build up savings. A special selection of souls for hunters isn't terrible either. Ooh, you get special oh. selection. You're creaming the crop. I brought this lot here to see uh, the danger that you speak of, if it's not too much trouble to ask. Yeah, of course. In which case, I'd, it'd be a shame to waste my efforts on just any old beast. Lin, 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 Lin. I think she's going to be fine, man. She seems like seasoned pro. Yeah. Hot. This one will do nicely. Goddamn fist weapons, she's gonna punch a goddamn mammoth to death. <laughs> we'll help you. It's fine, really. My first was. Just watch. <laughs> this is their job, people. I don't like the looks of this. Let us help. How about we all have some faith in the hunt? Oh no! Look out! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, never mind. It's showing us the revive, I guess. Did she spend some goddamn currency for that though? Someone died? 12 preserve. She needs healing. She's fine. Why are we all so surprised, man? I don't understand. Did we just see this happen? That was embarrassing. The bastard caught me off guard. Like we saw it happen with uh, Bakul, didn't we? This will only take a moment. Each little blue line is a life uh, on a little device. Okay, she's going to LB. Ah, 
Ah, Bakul did that as well, didn't he? Not Bakul. Is it is Bakul, isn't it? Oh, no, Zoral, ba Zoral, Zoral Jesser. Yeah. Gulul, Bakul, and Zoral. Zoralja. God damn man, this poor innocent creature. Not that innocent, you just killed her. <laughs> You're gonna turn around and see like it's two little calves watching mom from behind the bushes. <laughs> and she just punched the hell out of it. She's a savage. Yeah. Hey man, those little headpieces don't seem so bad anymore. Just like Soralja. It's almost like that mode that they're activating is like the uh, trance mode. Also from Final Fantasy IX. Instead of LBs, you pop trends and makes your character OP for like a few turns. That's also a function of the regulator. Tell me they call it trends. That'd be a reference that I get. As soon as the regulator turned red, it was as if you were possessed. Your movements became beast-like. Don't tell me. You empowered yourself with the soul of a beast. I'm reminded of the Serpentine soldier we encountered at Vanguard who did the same. So you've crossed paths, you've crossed paths with one of the king's elite. Such a farm can only be achieved from gorging yourself on souls. And don't give Xenos one of these headsets, men. You'll gorge all over. We could do the same in theory, but it's incredibly dangerous. Besides, it's not as if they would allow hunters to carry that many souls to begin with. Well, I should be getting back to work. Take care. So she just basically wasted a soul just to show us. And there you have it. Regulators <laughs> can be loaded with two kinds of souls. Those of peoples and those of beasts. What if you load yourself with, like, Zeromus' soul, dude? The souls of people uh, of people can be used to grant the user pre super strength. <laughs> Naturally, they can also be used to ensure that no one suffers an untimely death. I guess primals don't have souls in the way that humans do. But and what about the souls of the beasts? They work much in the same fashion, imbuing you the strength of the chosen animal. If, for example, you used the soul of a wolf, you would grow more agile and feral, as you saw with Striker. Using several of the same type at once, however, would result in physical changes. Your teeth might become fangs, your nails, claws, too many. And, um, and you'll become more beast than men. Yet unlike the Void, where the cycle of death and rebirth is simply broken, souls here are forcibly taken before they might reach the ethereal sea. Different means to achieve similar ends. A cycle to which all within the dome are bound. This is wrong. This is all wrong. This is no longer only Tully Lal's concern. With this newfound power, Zorolja has a real threat to the entire world. Indeed, he has to be stopped, no matter the cost. This also messes up the entire thing about what the ancients said. The whole live, die, no thing. And when you die, your memories become... Oh, like crystal like, clear and blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. To think that the souls never get to the ethereal sea. There's no afterlife for the people that these people have. Well, you technically know? there is an afterlife. The way that they see it is it goes to somebody else. So in a sense, it's almost like the aura uh, with... I remember which... I, I think I know Sadu, what you mean. Sadu's tribe. Yeah. They believe that once somebody dies, they are reborn as somebody else, you know? Which is actually true as far as, you know... It's what From what we gathered, yeah, that's what they said. Um, Perhaps not in the way they were thinking. But I know what you mean. But that's another way that their memories aren't uh, continued on. You know, so where do the memories go? You know what I mean? That's what their faction believes anyway. So even if we don't know what his whereabouts, Zeralja will eventually march on Tully Alal again. And that's when we can go after him. Ooh. The drawback is we'd have to wait for the invasion to happen. Innocence would be put in harm's way. That's what I'm saying, man. They've already been beat down. Mm-hmm. There's also the possibility that he'll leave everything to his minions and not command the army in person. Mm. Doesn't seem his style to be fair, but... Mm. No. He'll take to the field. Killing Papa didn't satisfy him. Now he's bent on proving himself stronger than me and Connor, who bested him in the right of secession. He challenged me to strike him down. <coughs> he wants a duel to show everyone that he's superior to the Dawn Servant and he won't let his minions deprive him of that pleasure. Even as we gather intelligence, we make no move to attack him, show absolutely no interest in a confrontation. Knowing him, he'll tower of waiting and turn his attention to corner instead. He'll attack Tully Alal again, like he said he would. I see. If you believe this is the best approach, then we have no objections. 
Any campaign against Tully Alal requires that Zoral Jal leads his forces through the, the vanguard. We'll have lookouts, keep an eye day or night. Such a strategy is certainly viable. If we're proceeding with it, though, we should warn those on the outside. Indeed, they'll need time to prepare the defences. Oh god. This is in Everkeep. Oh yeah, in Everkeep. Okay, where, where did she go, man? Uh, Sveen, where did she go? Yeah, the Queen. Were these all the souls? Will be, won't it, man? The soul harvest. Is that Zeralja? Yeah. Mm hmm. You've been consorting with Wook Lamott. No matter. I do not know what you are scheming. But when your realm lay on the brink, you were powerless. You had no choice but to turn to me. Whatever sentiment you may feel for her, it is my power you require. Is it not? For now, Zorolja. Hmm. Perhaps. And yet, knowing the love that Wuglamart bears for her people, how she regards them all as kin, I cannot help but wish to spare her the same pain I have suffered. What's more, her friends possess new knowledge. Were we to work together, we might find another path. Man, he's been here 30 years, you don't know you're talking to a brick wall there, Sveen. Hmm. Look at him. I know you're loath to consider it, but is there no hope for peace with Tuliolo? What we've already done may be unforgivable, but it needn't continue. You needn't kill your brother and sister. <laughs> I slew my only flesh and blood. Yet you attempt to sway me with an appeal to family. What a douche. The memory of my father's final moments still fills me with disappointment. Age came for him before I did. For long years, I sought to prove the miracle. And weak as he was, defeating him achieved nothing. To kill them is my only recourse. Wuklamat and Kona, who bested him as he was in his prime. They are still your siblings, even if not by blood. That such bonds should mean so little to you. It's pathetic, really. Yeah. I am bound to no one. Serve none oh. save myself. I made that clear when first you spoke to me in the Golden City. Sorry, Lumpkin slept on my chocolate. Remember, I can easily kill your beloved family. If oh dear. you protect them, cast aside any foolish notions. Your wisdom and abilities are valuable in so far as Argos align. So think well before you act, Queen of Reason. <sighs> Uklamot, if you are father's worthy successor, then you will find your way to me. But should you fall short, I will lay waste to Tuli Yolal. Such a loser. Mm. Now. I was really in the crime. I've just reached over Alrighty. to get my uh, little chocolate bars, by the way. The numpkin's been sleeping on them, so they're basically just a puddle of chocolate. Did you? One survived. There you have it. Seems the queen was true to her word. Follow me, everyone. Solution 9 awaits. I'm so looking forward to seeing this place. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, man. No. No. Ooh, cool. Okay, there's no bed, man, no bed. Sounds.
But look at how goddamn advanced it is. Mm hmm. Is there no music for you? Ever keep. Oh, no, no. Here we go. A tower of electro piercing a perpetual shroud of storm clouds. Woo. Occupying the ninth level of this twelve tiered structure is a residential district called Solution 9. It looks like pretty Zanakin. What hopes did its founders harbor for it? Zanakin wasn't purple. Did it prove the answer they sought? It was very sci fi and towers and lights. Jack Dural. Solution 9. What happened to all the other solutions? Really can't believe it, man. Yeah, it is. Throughout the tower, including industrial ones, but Solution Nine is the largest. Your people's futuristic clothes. Just being here makes my head spin. We walk around in bloody <laughs> cosplay <laughs> compared to these people. Natural reaction. A city of shimmering electro, replete with strange technologies that cater to every conceivable need. We never dreamed the life back home in Tuliolo. Also, them cubes. Yeah. Now, while I go and explain the situation to those in the back room, why not take a moment to explore? I believe lived experiences are far more educational than dry explanations. And you want to know more about Sphine and Zoralgia's dominion, do you not? Mm. Yeah. Um, before we answer this, mm? how long ago did Krilly come through the portal? Uh, when she was a baby? It said like 30 years ago. Did, did it say 30 years ago? If it was she like 20 that. or 30 years ago, mm. then who the hell knows, you know? But that means that she came from like, like, okay. 20 or 30 years ago. I mean, she came from here, right? From this reflection. Don't know. don't know. It didn't look like it. They weren't dressed like this. Yeah, back then they went. Mm. But how long, like, if things, like, advance super, super quickly? I, mean, oh, I don't even know anymore, man. I don't even know anymore, dude. But if we assume... I can't remember if, they were, if she, they were dressed like this. But it seems like they made that gate that we called, like, the Golden City, you know? Because the same materials are present here in this city. Like, those blocks, mm. those strange mm -hmm. pattern cubes, you know? Yeah. So, like, they must have made the gate that, you uh... also got to remember, as well, that Zeralja, when he found it... Yeah. There was somebody wanting to be out. We mustn't forget that, do you remember? And that's yeah, how like, Zeralja came and was able to let whoever it was out. And in exchange was given power, right? Yeah. So who who was that? Who was it, yeah? Well? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, man. Okay, yeah, there's still more going on here, isn't it? But okay. You had me explore? Yeah, you had me at explore. Feet two, one, one click. Feeling you'd be keen. I mean, look at the place. I'm gonna try and look the part too, though. All right then, hmm. we'll show ourselves around. 